G'day guys, Jazzy Smith here. This is a really fun lesson, an amazing lesson, because I'm going to show you how five notes can make a whole solo. So not much thinking, but a lot of feeling can go into sounding great. I'm going to show you these five notes as uh, they are very, very cool, because I'm playing a C harmonica, and this is called minor position. So the, the, on the harmonica, they call it third position. So I'm actually playing in D minor. So if there's any songs that you're playing that are in D minor, the C harmonica works really well. And I'm going to show you why. It's because um, you've got the minor pentatonic scale. Pentatonic just means five notes. Five note scale. Those five notes sound really good. So what they are is whole four sucking. That's a D note. So that's why you've got the D minor scale happening here. So four to five. Sucking on five, then blowing six. Sucking six. Blowing seven. And then sucking eight. Okay, so those five notes, I know you're probably thinking that six. The reason it's five notes is because the root note is just played an octave higher. So whole four is the same as whole seven sucking. So it just repeats itself, but that's called a, a minor pentatonic scale. I know these things sound, whoa, that sounds fancy. It's just a minor scale with five notes <laughs> and they sound great. So I'm going to show you how you can play those notes. Just a couple of simple licks with a minor progression on the guitar and sound really good. So let's get set up. Okay, so on the guitar, I'm just going to play a D minor chord to a C chord to start off with. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Just keeping it simple for now. I'm gonna show you a couple of cool licks using those five notes to play over those chords. So lick number one is just sucking on hole four. So that's four, five sucking, and then blow six, suck six. Lick two, just two notes. Suck six, blow six. Sorry, suck six, blow seven, then suck six. So try that together. Third lick. You're just sucking six and blowing six. And then doing that again, suck six, blow six. Suck five to suck four. So it's almost like going up and then going back down. But the second part, so I'll do it with the, the chords now, three, four. Again. Okay, so these four little licks, you want to try and memorize them as it'll make it a lot easier to jam with me because we're going to do it on this two chord progression then I'll add some more chords which sounds even cooler. But uh, let's try that all together, I'll notate it so you can sort of follow along and then Memorize it. Two, three, four. And again. Okay, I'm going to play exactly the same four note, four licks, but I'm going to do it over a different chord progression. This one's going to be like, I'm going to loop it actually. 
So I'll give you a little, um, I get lots of comments and people ask, how do you loop and all sorts of things. My advice with looping is, uh, what you want to do is get a looper. They're all different types of loopers. My one's pretty fancy because it does all my guitar effects and everything. But the, the trick to looping is if you've got, you've got a button and you just got to pulse your body when you're playing. Because it's all about timing. Two, three, four, boom. Because if you don't get it exactly on that time, it loops the wrong time. So looping, I'm going to loop this so you can sort of see how I loop. I like to rock my body. Three, four. That's me looping. So that's got the feeling and I know it's going to be smooth. And when I stop the loop, I keep recording because it gets the, the extra delays, but then I stop it after I record the second loop. This is a little bit more complex. I'll go more into looping on another lesson, but that's smooth. Same notes as on playing a harmonica. Harmonica. See, I'm playing the same notes here. I'm going to stop the loop as I'm playing the same notes as I am on the guitar. If you play guitar, this is one of the first scales you probably ever get for a finger exercise. So, all those notes are that I'm playing. Are just those notes here. So it's amazing that you can just play five notes and make a cool solo out of that. So what I'm going to show you now is how to add feeling into it. And I like to do this every lesson because once you learn the notes, then you add the, the cool things like bending, the vibrato. Um, so the bending note to get the blue scale, the, that sort of slide sound, let's get that. So that's whole six bending. So it's like. That's a beautiful note. You use that a lot in the blues sound. So it's got now this sound. Notice I like to use that vibrato. <laughs> okay, so if you're not playing guitar and harmonica at the same time, your hands can do cool things like vibrato. So if you're playing it in a rack, you gotta use a <laughs> vibrato effect, which is using your breath. But your hand, there's two ways. You can curl your fingers down here. This is more like the cupping sound. Or you can do it like this, which gives a really nice sound as well. I really like the feeling of the cup and I'll show you why. But I'll put the loop on and I'll show you how to add vibrato to this four licks. Two, three, four.
This way. So you can see the hand does cool things and it's beautiful to try both ways because they're different. I really like the cupping because it's like you play a note and then you let it out. It's really fun. But the best thing is, is use your ears, feel into it. One of the best places to practice is actually in a bathroom because it's all tiled and the reverb is amazing. The sound bounces off the walls and you can hear yourself really well. All right guys, well I hope you really love this lesson. I loved sharing it because this is one of my favorite sounds at the moment. Just playing the minor, putting lots of feeling into it. Love this chord progression. And I'm gonna give you the chance to hear how I can make five notes sound even more amazing. But I'll put my loop on and I'll just jam over it and yeah, have some fun. Here we go, three, four. <laughs> Your turn to jam. One more time. All the best everyone, have fun, keep playing at least 15 minutes a day and you'll go a long, long way.